Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soulstones. Last episode we found Pierre, however the Shadow Council also found him, managed to one-shot his Pokemon and take the Quartz Soulstone. Uh, luckily we managed to convince uh, Spencer and the agency to basically just let Pierre be on his own because he's in no real danger. Um, basically we just want to keep him away from the, <laughs> the agency because they can't really be trusted right now. Uh, we also caught a new Pokemon, new team member. Got Hippowdon which is looking Real nice. Grass and water type. It needs a grass type move really bad. <laughs> Before we head uh, to the next area, which is just north, need to head to um, Windvale City to go and see uh, so another Soul Keeper. Also on Route 105, we can find the Chimchar, which we are definitely, definitely going to add to the team. Before we do that, we're going to go head over to, um, oh, there you go, <laughs> Diadem Village, and then I guess check out Mount Diadem and Diadem Valley. So we can find over there and hopefully find some cool new Pokemon. Uh, need to heal up really badly. Did a bunch of side quests as well and we're looking looking pretty good. So we speak to you. Uh, yes, I'll take the cable car. And this... Oh, do you heal us up? Yes! Oh, thank you so much. So this is the area. Let me check the encounters. We Oh, we can find the Flaffy over here. That's cool. Oh, you get the Poplio as well. What else? What else? The, you can get the Flaffy at night time. I want to get the Flaffy. That's the main uh, objective here. Alright, that's what we can find. Got a Clefairy! Hey. Just gonna run away. Because it looks like a lot of fairy types around here, so it's probably best to lead off with someone else. Um, I think Starmie will be fine. Do you want to battle? The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> All right, what you got for us? Got a little again. Uh, let's go, Psybeam. And critical hit. That's not bad damage. Although I feel like with that quick dance, you are definitely going to die with this next Psybeam. Mega Drain. No. Why do you have to have Mega Drain? That sucks. Okay, we should switch. 100%. Any other move would have been good. Any other move but Mega Drain. Of course, you've got to get that HP back. Alright, now we go Wing Attack and that will easily take you out. And you're going to confuse me. Great. Don't hurt yourself. Nice. Okay. Man, this battle is just... Uh, it's not easy so far. Wait, what level were they? It was 38, right? 37. Okay, so we're like... We are a good level. We're not underleveled. These battles are still going to be pretty tough. We've got the healing person inside the, the cable car place, so we can always just heal up if we need to after this battle. And oh my goodness, can you stop hurting yourself? This is not going well. Oh, dude, come on. I hate confusion so much. All right, what do, what do? Uh, we will go... I'm going to go Swanna. And I'm going to start spamming the Mare Slashes. Yeah, hopefully... Keep up the flinches. Another flinch, hopefully. No, but you missed. I mean, that's that's fine. That's fine. All right, one more. Good, good. All right, Sylveon. Uh, I'm gonna just stay in. Just gonna keep, like I said, air slashing everything. If we just keep getting the flinch, we will be golden. I'm hoping this like area has some really cool stuff to it because obviously like we took a detour the first episode went to the went to the beach which obviously we got a side quest there and we did a few things got a few items not the most interesting thing in the world because we have to come back later on but it was good just to get it you know done oh okay my favorite fossil pokemon's got a regional form in this i'm guessing it's gonna be i feel like every pokemon around here is gonna be like part fairy Pheasant. It's gonna Zora go for a nice Ice Fang. Good. All right. Please. That was it. All right. Nice. So I think I'll lead off with Swanna then, because um, yeah, leading off with Stami was not great. Get healed up. All right. So let's start making our way through. If we can see any hidden grottos. Oh, there's a Breloom there. Hey. Don't you have more pressing things to do than go frolicking in a meadow, Voltsy? Living on Route 113 is optional side area content. 
If the content is there, I'm gonna do it. Hey, I like you, Voltsy. You explore. You're the kind of player I want playing in this game. Well, yeah. Plus I get the added benefit of comic relief from you, Breloom. And apparently a prize if I find all you bots. We'll see about that. What do you mean? You heard nothing. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, Zygarde cell. Nice. So we got 4% of the Zygarde cells. We're making good progress, I think. Very good progress. And oh man, that's uh That's gonna be a pain in the butt to beat. Watch oh, I got a switch. Um I guess I gotta go into Powdom. Like, type-wise, our team isn't the most balanced in the world, which, I, like I said before, I don't care. Like, with that, I just, uh, I'll use whatever's fun and looks cool in this game. But man, there's a few types that, if I see good regional form of, I think I've definitely got to add to the team. <laughs> I'm gonna say, so far, I feel like Hippowdon's got to be a permanent team member. It's, it's been absolutely destroying every, like, battle we've used it. But liquidation with the rain up is actually, uh, kind of good. I should not use it on that, because I should uh, go for, I guess, Crunch? No, okay, uh, I'm going to get taken out, but I don't switch. Eat the Energy Ball, okay, good. Ice Fang. Ooh. And Cotton, we could stay in. And Cotton Spore, yeah, that's fine, lower my speed, does not matter. It's great when a Pokemon lowers your speed, but already outspeeds you, you're just like, okay. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Ooh! Got the Mega Stone for Houndoom. Alright, cool, cool. And a Chansey, uh, I'll run away. I'm gonna pop a rep actually not gonna pop a repel just yet, I'll wait till I find the Flaffy. And then I'll pop a repel, so we have to go through there. Before we do that, we'll just finish exploring the route. In case we find some cool stuff. I should not get hit with the air slash. And another one. Good. Ordina, ooh. Gonna be some decent experience here. If we take it out, that is. Critical hit. Oh, dude, don't kill me. That was close. The chance, oh man. Um. Let's go Zorark, this should be fine. Nice! Ah, oh, let's go. All that sweet, sweet experience. And keep Ice Fang in. Hopefully we don't die. I think that's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, 1 HP! 1 HP! <laughs> oh, we're getting so lucky. I'm gonna heal up off this battle anyway, so it doesn't matter get taken out. Just doing some damage so someone else can come in and get an easy kill. Go Stami, Power Gem. Alright, so what else we got around here? I probably have, but surprised I haven't seen a hidden grotto yet. Probably run past one or two. But I've not seen well, my eyes have not seen one. Probably run across maybe at least one, but right now I have like not seen one. I'm looking. I don't find a flaffy, I can always just come back on the way back. Unless we want to just um, fly to wherever we have to go. And Tom, that's cool. Where is the flaffy though? That's all we care about. Once you get that flaffy, you can pop that repel. Got a few balls. Oh, dude. That must be like a pretty rare spawn. Come on, flaffy now. Nope. Like sometimes. I get super lucky finding regionals, like when I found the Hippopotas first turn, but yeah. Flaffy, not so much. But now at the village, the Crystal Laced Mountain, okay. I'm gonna get healed up. And we've got the quiz guy, oh okay, let's see if we can get these answers correct. Right, so. How much does an annual membership to Delhi Bird Express cost? I have no idea. 10,000 per year? No. Uh, 5,000? Okay, so it's 5,000 per year. When revived, what fossil will produce an Aerodactyl? Oh. Big Nugget. <laughs> I thought I'd just say Big Nugget. It's got a- oh. 
It's gotta be the jade then. Uh, right. Oh, I'm actually pixie fossil. That could be it. No, it's it's, it's definitely the the um the jade. Oh, dude. Okay. Yes. Five thousand per year. Then it's the jade. And then it is. You might find one. Okay. Last question is as follows: What Pokémon ability prevents stat loss and status conditions so long as you are a Grass type Pokémon? Uh, not that. Not oh, Romaville. Okay, I have no idea. So the next, it's Hard and Jade. Okay, last question and Flower Veil. Okay. I thought it was a veil thing, but yeah. yeah. These questions I'm not so good at, but luckily it's not like one and done, you know? You get multiple attempts, which makes things a lot easier for me. I'm on the hunt for the new Poch region exclusive fossils. There's a fellow in Amber Forge City that will revive your fossils for you. Hard and Jade will get you the Aerodactyl. A Locust fossil will get you the Kabuto, and the um, Pixie fossil will get you the Amora. Well, not mind the Amora at all. We've seen the um, Kabuto. It's green. I think it's part bug. But uh, the Aerodactyl we have not seen. Right, so the billionaire founder of Pokemon Enterprises. The benefactor for the Stonecrest Museum. You may have heard of me on TV or seen some of my contributions if you visited the Stonecrest Museum. Nope. But I frequently fund expeditions into the various corners of the Apache region in search of a variety of fossils as it is uh, one of my favourite pastimes. I permit any fossils or other rare treasures the curator finds to be showcased at the museum to expand their collection. There are however instances where my expeditions results in finding duplicate re relics. At that point the museum has no need for the extras and they give them to me. As much as I'd love to keep all of these relics to myself I have no use for them. I simply wish to give back to my community. Oh wow. She's rich and she actually uh, seems like a decent person. <laughs> Alright, I heard there's a fellow artifact hunter there that will take those items off your hands and compensate you. Ooh, okay. Sounds good. Good thing is we're going to, um, Windvale maybe this episode. Depends how long, um, it takes us to get there. Ooh, what a workout. Okay. Right, so that leaves the village. Don't do that just yet. Oh, there's another mega stone there. What we got? What we got? Oh, <gasps> Rose Raid's got a mega in this game, dude. Gigalith and Rose Raid. I need to... I need to get those, or at least see what they look like. That's so cool. Oh man, I, I love custom megas. I I'm, I'm gonna say it. Ooh. What? Oh, okay. Sweet. So we got another mega stone for Gigalith, but it's the uh, regional version. That's so cool. As I was gonna say. Oh, that paint looks really nice. I'm a big fan of uh, Mega Evolution. Would I love to see it come back? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Lady Sarah, I don't know what you're hinting at exactly. Ah, oh, forget it. So you're a move tutor, I can teach your Pokemon the move Aura Sphere. Ooh, okay. Maybe that's why I'm not so renowned as I thought. Anyway, would you like me to teach Aura Sphere to one of your Pokemon? Can anyone learn it? Starmie can. Uh... Can you get a Moonlight? It could, it could be helpful. So I get Aura Sphere. What up? My girlfriend is so self-absorbed that she thinks she's famous just because she can teach your Pokemon Aura Sphere. Hey man, she's pretty awesome. Let me knock on your girlfriend. What do you do? Nothing. What does she do? Teach Pokemon Aura Sphere. She's like miles above you. Oh, your Super Bowl. What is, what is a Super Bowl? Oh, okay. So it's, it's better than a... Um... Oh, so it's in between a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball. Okay. That's cool. Right, what we got in here? Uh, sup, I could be more cross with my husband when he spends too much time going and harvesting minerals in Mount Diadem. But he's managed to find plenty of coloured shards and even found a big nugget once. Who needs to have a job when you can just harvest the minerals like that and sell them for cash? I mean, isn't it pretty dangerous? Got some blast powder, nice. Alright, why are you next to a uh, regional Stantler, maybe? Ah, child, would you be willing to help with me with a small errand? My Apoch Stantler has a very fussy diet of special berries. However, these berries tend to, uh, tend can be quite difficult to come across. Would you be able to find me some special berries and bring them to my Stantler? Yeah, sure. Free Rindo berries, free 
Cobra berries and three Landsat berries. Do I even have these berries? Uh, I guess I don't know. Right. I'm assuming if we maybe do that quest, we get the Stantler. All right, let's go into this house. Hey, yo, what up? You trying to EV train your Pokemon by any chance? Ooh, thank you. I'm not gonna EV train my Pokemon, but if I did want to do that, then awesome. Okay, let's go check out this one. Hey, yo, the abilities overgrow Blaze and Torrent are stupid. Don't understand why all the starters get those. But thankfully, did you know that the traditional starters in the Pot region have different abilities than normal? Um, case in point, my Chigurita has Flower Veil. Because she's a grass type, it prevents her from suffering from status conditions and stat losses. She went from being an F tier starter to one of the best. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, okay, about to be drawn exchange. Uh, but I'm good. Right, yo. My boyfriend and I buy a lot of stuff online. We can find the biggest deal ever, but if it involves us paying for shipping, it's a hard pass for us. Don't know what it is, but paying for shipping seems so gross. I get that, man. I get that. I saw this like um, this little like meme once, and it made me laugh because it's so true. It's like an uh, item being, I don't know. So for example, five pound free post and packaging. It's like yeah, I'll pay that. But then like um, an item being, for example, two ninety nine and three pound postage, which would make it oh sorry two 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 ninety nine two pound postage makes it the same price. Or oh, sorry, a penny cheaper just because it's two pound post and packaging. It just it puts me off. It's it's so weird, but it's just can't get rid of that feeling, you know? Oh, I've been in here, haven't I? Right, so let's now go this way. Route 114. What can we find around here? Oh, there's the we can get the uh, regional Baldor. Oh, I'm so getting that. How do you get it? Oh, it's in the water there. Good rod. Oh, it's gotta be a water type then. Uh I get the who who you get the Stantler here? Get a lot of good stuff in the morning. But we're at the we're at night time at the moment, so we can't really get much. We need to change the clock. But let me grab these berries. If we had surf coming back here would be real good. I'm gonna battle I just love the colour of all these trees. And it's really nice this place. She's right, the colour of the trees look good. Right, time to start taking you out. Let's go spark Lenaria. I think we'll do enough damage and attack drop, that's fine, because we ain't going for uh, any physical attacks. Oh, dude, come on, you're so weak. The hail will finish you off, though, so that's fine. Alright, spoink. Spoink, spoink, spoink. Gonna go for a nice air slash. Flinch, yeah, boy! Gotta love that flinch. No, but we hate missing. And we hate getting hit with a super effective move. Nice. E Marie. Uh, let. I feel like it's part flying. I think it's got to be either part flying or fairy. So I'm gonna go ice fang. Maybe it's fairy flying. I think that's got to be the typhon. That just makes so much sense if ice fang super effective. And good damage there. Nice. Wants to learn what snow. Um. I think I prefer crunch. Yeah, Chikorita, hey! Guys fanged! Woo! Actually went pretty well. Alright, more berries, let's take them all. All the berries. I wonder if you could like... In, for that side quest we did last episode, stealing the berries. I wonder if we could not steal the berries and just go and get berries from a different place to then go and um, give to the monkeys. I wonder if that would work. Just in case you didn't want to, you know, nothing that really happened that I stole the berries that, that I know of right now. But like, in case something did happen, it'd be kind of cool you can just go and get the berries somewhere else and do that. We've got plenty of heart scales now I think about it. Oh, another mega stone. Oh, okay. So we can actually get a Bulbasaur around here. So, wait, do we need a mega bracelet? I assume we do to mega evolve, right? Right, so what I want to do is I want to make it daytime. I'm just going to grab these berries first. We need to capture a few Pokemon. Like, I really want that Bulldore. 
but I can put the Venusaur on the team, or the Bulbasaur on the team, to uh, make it a Venusaur and Mega Evolve it. So let me quickly go and switch it to daytime. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now it's daytime. If we get into a few encounters on the way, hopefully, oh man, I wish I'd surf to get that TM right there. Well, hopefully we can um, find some good regionals. Want to get the Venusaur? I, do I, have a, I don't have a rod, do I? If I have a rod, I can maybe get the um, Baldor. I need to check. I'm, I feel like I picked up a rod, but I'm not sure if it's this game or another game I'm playing. <laughs> oh, dude, this is... That's the annoying thing about playing multiple games at once. Sometimes you just forget which game gives you what. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go Liquidation because the rain's up. Do the extra damage. Ah, oh, you're so weak, dude. So weak. Right, level 42, nice. It's actually kind of a good, good idea I came this way first. Because if I came here later on, then um, obviously all these trainers would be super weak. Because right now they're like a really good level. But uh, yeah. We could have came here when we were level like 100 and be destroying everyone. Got a zoom lens, sweet. And some berries, woo! Grab all the berries. All the berries. Nice, nice, nice. Okie dokie, and oh, is this it? Can I not go any further? I might need Surf to go to the mountainy bit. Yeah, look, you can see the little bit there. I'm guessing I need Surf. Oh, that sucks. That's fine, like, it was a nice little, like, um... Yeah, a little bit of exploring around here. So, have I got Repel Active? I must do, right? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, it feels like I should get an encounter or two, but... We'll come back here later on then, and we will um, go to the the valley, I think it is, the mountain and valley. Oh, there's a Voltorb. Right, how many balls have we got? Oh, we've got plenty of balls. Let's go for a super, can we one and done it? Beautiful, ah, oh, you love to see it, man, you love to see it. I mean, Voltorb's cool and all, but that's not the Pokemon we're after. I want the Bulbasaur, and I want the... Uh, oh, I need to check if I got a rod. I want the Baldor. Was there other things I wanted as well? Oh, I need, a, I need an old rod. I need at least a good rod. I, I definitely don't have a good rod. There's no way. Like, I don't mind getting the other ones, but, like, I mainly want the Bulbasaur. I don't even have any rod. <laughs> oh, well, alright. So, I'm gonna cut to when we find a Bulbasaur. Which we're definitely not gonna get on the next encounter. No, okay. Alright, see so when we get a Bulbasaur, we can capture that and put it on the team. Then we can start working towards that mega regional Venusaur, which is going to be so cool. So I'll see you guys. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to find it. If that was shiny, that would so be awesome. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey, there we go. Found the Bulbasaur. Took a little while, but we got there in the end. Oh, dude, come on. Ooh, I wonder if you're Ice Fairy. That could be really cool. Nice. So what type of you get Ice Fairy? Oh, sweet. Uh, who do we replace, though? Sorry, Sceptile. Oh, it's evolving already? Cool. <laughs> Don't know why it evolved, but sweet. Right, so uh, what I'll quickly do is I will level it up and we'll get that Venusaur real quick. Should also heal up. And then I guess we head back to um if we fly to Amberforge and then just head east and we get to Route 105 real quick. Uh oh a six, don't do six. Do you just want to do the one? Am I leading off with Yeah, good. We'll make sure I lead off with it so it gets all the experience. Quickly do this. Uh what is that? you got no Oh no! No, it's supposed to get like the um, the poison orb and it'll start taking its HP down, but luckily we do damage. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have gone for body slam. That's fine, that's fine. 
Nice. Okay, I might go for one more just to get towards 40. Nice, I like the look of it. She looks kind of sick. All right, let's go for another one. This time we're not going to paralyze it. And then we go 40 slam. Much better. <laughs> Ooh. And there we go. And that gives us 37, 38, 39, and almost 40. That will do. Right. Uh, I want to see if I can get a grass type move for you. Oh, Leech Seed will be clutch. Okay. And what else? Like a decent like attacking grass move would be really good. Oh, you get Earthquake, Petal Blizzard. Dragon Hammer. Does this... Am I thinking of Petal Dance? Is this one attack? I'm going to get this for now. I, I think this isn't the one that locks you into a move. I'm going to get rid of Crunch for now. I think. I hope not. I really hope not. Alright, so now we're going to talk to you. And we are going to fly over here. I'm also going to save the game because it's been a while. And we want to go to Route 105 where we're going to get another brand new team member. Oh, it's going to be sick. Oh, wait. need to give you the Mega Stone as well, don't we? Uh, let's give that to you. I don't think we can Mega Evolve right away. Let's just find out. Yeah, we're going to need the, um, the bracelet. Okay, so now we got this way. And we take this cable car up. To room 105, and there's a healing person here? Yes, there is. Fantastic. Oh, you can fly up here as well if we want. Right. So where do we begin? So, the uh, steep cliffs in this mountain can be dangerous. Really? Ooh. Do what a fall. All right, let's go Dazzling Gleam. Nice, good damage, good damage. Go for another one. And Evenipede. Okay, I want to go into Hippowdon just to check. Let me first take you out. Go Petal Blizzard after. Does this lock me in? I feel like I'm remembering right. Oh, good, 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 yeah. So it's, it's not what I was thinking it was. I think it's Petal Dance, the one that locks you in to a move. So now we have a decent Grass-type move. We get taken out, great. We are looking good. I, I kind of want to grind everyone to 45 as well. Make sure we are, like, super good. Ooh, thank you for some berries. Appreciates it. I need to go and, um, get healed up. And probably pop a repel. I'll check what encounters we can find around here in a second. Just want to do this. Alright, so what can we find? Uh, Dratini. Oh, a fire Drifloon. That's kind of cool. <gasps> yeah, the Chimchar, obviously. Land Day, which we're at. Um, another Shellos. Cadabra. The main thing I want is the Chimchar. That is what I want. So we are going to find it, and it's going to go on the team. And it's going to replace Talonflame as our electric type. I feel like the more I add new team members recently, the more unbalanced our team, like our already unbalanced team gets. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. Super Bull. No, Chimchar. Chimchar, be cool. Be cool. Depending on how cool Infernape looks, you could be a permanent team member. Just saying. Oh, you're electric fighting. Okay, cool. That's actually not bad as well. Right. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Talonflame. And then, oh, sweet. Man, Monfona looks so cool. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this right away. Right, Candy. What does Infernape look like? Please be good. 
Please be good. Oh, looking sick. Oh, that's sick. It's even got the rod. Oh, I love this. That looks so good. That looks so good. Oh, that's permanent team member. 100%. Ah, oh, sweet. Yes. Oh, man, our team looking so good. Okay, I can pop a repel now. I just need to, like... Oh, I just need to, like... Balance the team out a little bit. It's super unbalanced, but I think... Infernape stays on the team. Ah, oh, dude. And Powdon, Infernape, Zora definitely stay on the team. I do love Starmie. Uh, Swanner will make the fit. Oh, it's just the Venusaur. If we switch Venusaur out for, like, a... A fire type... And I think our team is pretty balanced. Oh, what is going on here? There's a protecting this baby. Okay, uh, do we help it? Yeah, man, let's go. You want, you want some of this? I'll take you on. Let's go and fern ape. Yeah, boy. Could use our brand new Pokemon also double battle. Oh, the fern ape looks so good. So good. That was a critical hit in one shot. I mean, we are level 36, I guess, but still. Same again, take you out. And liquidation. Good. Breviary, you are safe. What do we get? Picks up a shiny bubble, the bubble that it had in its nest and drops in your hand. Ooh, aerial ice. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. Nothing on that. I wish I'm even going. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, so we just gotta keep making our way north. Hey, full restore. Not bad. Not bad. Like, I'm just gonna try explore as much as I can right now and see what I can find. I wanna get down there. Probably should just switch with someone else. Uh, the flying type's a pretty good idea. Star me in case we get into a battle with someone. An elixir, nice. Oh, something different, like, um, levels. This area, I need to go back. I think we might make it to the top. I'm gonna go back down because I know we've missed a lot. Don't worry. I want to. Oh, she's going for us here. God, we got that. We talked about. Uh, learned that earlier. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to take. We'll go for side beam. I'm going to go here, but double clicked. That's fine. That's fine. Liquidation. Too good. Like, this is a Powdon. Really good. Shell gone. Oh no, whoa, you saw that double clicked. Pressed down once and went twice. <laughs> I spang that bad boy. I mean, either way, if I went to Swan by accident, it doesn't matter. Still gonna do the damage. Magnitude 5 does like no damage. <laughs> Alright. And a drift loon. Oh, it's not the fire type one, it's the normal one. Ooh, good. Alright. Give me a second, I need to check as well, like make sure the recording's all still up, because when I switch the clock, yeah. That went down, okay, so. Uh, what have we got here? Full heal. <gasps> no, Mega Stone. For a Rapidash. Oh, dude. I hope we get to see these Megas. Like, someone using them at least. Or see some new ones. Right, so if I go back this way. What's up this way? Did we go this way before? We didn't, but nice. Nothing on that. I'm gonna check all the uh, the, the rocks here because it seems like a lot of them have hidden items on. Uh, so this, oh nice, takes us back down here. Oh Zygarde cell, nice. Leaf stone. How do I get the item? I think if we go this way. So you're going back to explore. Get him re rewarded with some decent stuff. Although I think I might end up losing this battle if I don't go for Body Slam. Although that liquidation did a lot of damage. No! Whew, that was close. That was so close. A Rapidash. Uh, we can stay in. As long as we outspeed you, we do not. But we lived the Fire Spin! Oh, dude. I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad for you. Can you imagine, like, just thinking that was going to take me out? Oof. That sucks. Not for you. For me, it's great. <laughs> uh, Dodrio, we can stay in. We go for Sparkinari because the ring's still up. We'll do a bit more damage. It's all good, it's all good. Ema Choke. Uh, 
Uh, oh, no item down there. So we go this way. Takes us to the ball, right? Yeah. Nice, got a rare candy. And nothing on that. All right, so let's go down this way. How do I get to that? Did I come this way before I did, didn't I? Yeah. I just went around in a circle, so we want to go back this way and back down. Just so happens, me running through here, just exploring, I managed to go the right way first try. Just my luck, man. Alright, so this should take us underneath the bridge. Yes. Go to Super Bowl, sweet. And let's go up this way. Did we go this way before? Hello, Trent. I'm one of the monks from Windvale Monastery. After years of medit meditation and following a balanced lifestyle, I've learned a special move I can teach your Pokemon. Icicle Crash. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, teach it a Venusaur, why not? Let's get a Body Slam. Good. Alright. I think that's probably this area explored now, apart from one or two trainers. We'll go up here first, just to double check. So there might be one or two things. Oh, this is not good. Uh, let's go to Swanite so we can get an air slash off. That is one dead Breloom. Nice. Evoltor, we know that's uh, Ice type. We have a fighting type move, don't we? Good. Very good. And throw we switch back into Swanna. Go for that air slash. Oh man, we are actually killing it right now. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. Level 45, let's go. Okie dokie, and we got this dude. Uh, salutations trainer, I'm training in these mountains. I have a rare fighting type Pokemon that I will give you if you can prove- Oh yeah, man! Oh wait, if you, can, if, if you can return to me with proof of their defeat, I will- okay. Sure. Approach them and then they will challenge you. Okay, so there's three Guardian Pokemon. Right, let me go get healed up. Because we're a little bit weak. How do I get to this dude down here? Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Got too close to the cliff and fell down here. Can you help me get out of here? Need a rope or something to help me climb out of here. Okay. Oh, thanks for getting me out of there. Oh, you won. Or listen to the rangers and stay away from the cliffs. It's a long way down from up here. Please, this is a thank you. Didn't get me out of that jam, but it'll get your Pokemon out of one. Ooh, thanks. That's cool. We're like, <laughs> so how do, you, how do you get that guy right there? Bam. That's how. All right. So now let's try and find these guardian Pokemon. So I've been here. Let's now go this way. Not underneath the bridge. Anything over here? So let's save the Breviary. Uh, yeah, pop another Repel just in case. Where are you hiding at? Legit, where are they? I feel like for free we would have seen at least one by now? That one I, I saw, maybe? Ah. Ah, maybe it's gonna be Tyrogue. It'll probably be Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Hitmontop, I would assume. Oh, I'm super dead. Oh, we lived! Nice! Woo, that was super close. Alright, so now we've got to find Hitmonlee and Hitmontop. Assuming, yeah, that is the Pokemon we're looking for. Be really awkward if it's not hit one Lee next, you know? <laughs> uh oh. Let's find one more. Cyber, I'm surprised we love that dig. Alright. One more Pokemon. Uh. Been this way, haven't I? Oh no, haven't. There it is. He's 100% gonna give me a Tyro. 100%. If he doesn't, I will be very shocked. I mean, he could give me a regional one. That could also be kind of cool. I think once we get to the, um... It's, it's not a village, is it? Or the city. We'll definitely do some grinding for next episode. Make sure everyone is... About 45 would be good, I think. 
That way we just don't have to worry about grinding at all. We can just play for the next bit of the story. All right, give me that free Pokemon. Truly are worthy of this prize. Oh, Riolu. Okay, cool. Well, I was not expecting that. That's even better. It didn't say E-Riolu, so it's definitely not a regional, but a regional one would be kind of poggers. All right, so we go this way. I do like the design of this route. It's like very twisty, turny, and just easy to get a little bit lost, but also really fun to explore. Very well designed route. All right, so let's take it down, or even higher, and Windvale City. Hey, and I feel like we're gonna have a lot to explore in this place. Where is the Pokemon Center? Let's start off by yeah, getting nice and healed up. And I'll do some grinding for next episode. Make sure everyone's all ready. So we're in this part here, next episode we explore Windvale City and try and find, is it Pierre's cousin? I think it was his cousin. But try to find the next Soul Keeper. Catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.